Now we're gonna do a brown sugar, cinnamon, and honey butter that you can put on your fish, you can use as a marinade as you're cooking it. If you wanna wrap it up in tin foil and put it in there and just let it cook down after you season it, you can do that. But I'm telling you right now, if you make this butter, it's limitless what you can do with it. As a matter of fact, when you get done making it the first time, I almost guarantee you're gonna grab a piece of bread, put it in your toaster, and smear some of that on there because it is, it is that good. And it's simple and easy to make in your own home. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now you can do it with your own mixer at home. You don't have to have a wooden butter churn to make it. You can actually do it with a simple blender like this. I use the dough beater on it, what I use to mix dough on it, or you can use a KitchenAid with the whisk on it. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is and exactly what I use to make it. The first thing is, is I use heavy whipping cream. Now you can make butter out of virtually any dairy product, dairy milk type product, but this is 40% fat. So I'm gonna get a lot better yield on my butter and it's gonna be a lot sweeter than other butter. Of course, I'm gonna add some accoutrements to it, but if you want to just make regular butter, grab this, throw it in your thing and mix it up. But I'm gonna show you how simple it is. We're gonna start with two cups of heavy whipping cream. And I love using this, it's just so thick and you can almost just taste it as you're pouring it in there. You know, as a kid, my mom used to make cinnamon rolls and she'd make this icing with cinnamon and brown sugar and oh, it just takes me back when I start making this stuff. But I got two cups of heavy whipping cream in here. I'll sit this over in the sink. And I probably better cap this off because I'm notorious in my kitchen for spilling things. Now I'm using brown sugar. You have choices when you get brown sugar. You can get the light or you can get the dark. I like the dark brown sugar. It just has a richer flavor, especially when I'm making a butter compote for seafood. So I'm gonna put that in there. It's just one quarter cup of brown sugar. Then I'm gonna grab honey. Now, I wanna use about half again as much honey, and rather than get this in here because you can never get all the honey out, you'll sit there forever letting it drip, I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it, and I'm gonna put some honey in here. And that's a, just about, about a third of a cup. About a third of a cup, maybe, well, no, maybe about a quarter of a cup. You can't go wrong with this, you guys. And then I'm gonna add cinnamon. Now cinnamon is a strong, strong flavor. And again, like most cinnamons, there's a lot of different types that you can get. I just get regular old cinnamon and I'm gonna put one teaspoon of it in here. Level it off and I'm gonna add a, that cinnamon in here. Oh, you can already smell it. So you get your ingredients in, into your heavy whipping cream, you put on your lid, and I don't like to run it at a high speed right off the bat. What I'm gonna be watching for is I'm gonna be watching this cream to see when it starts turning into a cheese. It's gonna take about five, or excuse me, not a cheese, a butter, it's gonna split off into curds and you'll actually see the buttermilk go to the bottom and you'll see the butter actually start separating and we're gonna form that into balls. But I'm gonna start it at a low speed and then we'll get back to you and I'll show you how as, as we go. Okay guys, so we're about a minute and a half, two minutes in. If you've ever made homemade whipping cream before, you'll notice that it starts to build up and get pretty thick. Because I'm using a higher speed on here, you can actually see that this is getting really, really thick. And oh, that cinnamon and brown sugar and honey smell. And if you look at it, it's getting nice and thick and it's almost getting that, it's beyond whipped cream consistency. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. It's ridiculous. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on here. I just wanted to show you. And we're gonna go and we're gonna take it into the final high speed whip. It's gonna be about another two and a half minutes. And then we're gonna separate out the butter. watch the sight glass when I start to see the little curds coming up and I see it start moving I'll slow the speed down from high 
and I'll get it going because I know that I'm starting to get the buttermilk going in it. So I can see the buttermilk on the bottom. So I'm gonna let this actually sit here at a lower speed and I'm just about, oh, I'd say 45 seconds or so away from this being done. Okay, so we're back. And man, oh man. Oh, does that smell good? Cinnamon, honey, brown sugar, and fresh homemade butter. So you can see the buttermilk just dripping off here. So I'm going to put a strainer over here and I'm gonna drain off this buttermilk. <coughs> Try to get those last little bits. Oh, this is so good. And we're going to pour this out. That buttermilk coming off. Ooh. Oh. Yep, I want toast. English muffin, that's what I want. I want an English muffin to put this on. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I'm gonna get this here. I'm gonna let this strain off. I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little spoon. I'm gonna get the last little bits of that out of there. Oh, let's go. I think. I'm gonna use this one. I don't wanna lose a bit of it. That is so good. And the smell, I, 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 can't, I can't describe to you guys adequately how good this smells. Now this is definitely a lick the bowl scraper moment. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing with the butter, but wow, wow, wow. All right. I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna start moving the butter around a little bit, kind of creating a, kind of creating a little ball with it because there's still a lot of buttermilk in this. So we're gonna have to squeeze that buttermilk out and then we'll start making our little butter balls. We can hear it dripping off. Now, I don't waste anything in my kitchen, so the buttermilk from this, I can take and I can throw shrimp in there, I can throw any kind of protein that I want into this and infuse it with that buttermilk before I, before I um, bread it, and say I want to deep fry it or bake it or something like that. But I'm just rolling this ball around like that before I get my hands into it. Look at that beautiful butter. That is a big old hunk of butter from two cups of milk, and look at that. We'll take this, we'll just kind of squeeze her down just a little bit. And when I get done with these, what I like to do is I'll take and I'll separate these off into smaller balls, and I'll put them in a container, and I'll put them in my freezer, and then any time that I want to have a treat or something like that, or the kids want to have something, hey, I've got brown sugar, honey, and cinnamon butter balls. But look at that, you guys, that is just beautiful. So I'll just take it like this, I'll break it off, break off a little piece like that, and I'll make this beautiful, beautiful little butterball. Smells good. Hey guys, make sure you like and subscribe down below so you can get contacted anytime I make a new little cooking tip here in my kitchen. I'm Earl, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.